Looks like Powell has thrown another log on the market melt-up. I'm Darren, and this is Three Things for Tuesday, August the 27th. The parent company of Timu, PDD, lost about 30% of its stock price when it announced a second quarter revenue miss after a slowing global expansion. The Department of Justice has sued RealPage, claiming they are using software to share rents, vacancies, and concessions to keep the prices higher. RealPage says they are simply sharing data from numerous sources instead of specific rates at competitor properties. Goldman Sachs, BASF, HSBC, and ICBC have agreed to pay $20 million as a result of an antitrust lawsuit that is almost 10 years old. They were accused of suppressing platinum and palladium prices, utilizing front-running and spoofing, which are both illegal. Keeping those prices down allows clients to pay less for the two and enables the banks to avoid losses on short positions. Wonder how much was made over and above the $20 million. Trade while you're sleeping across time zones with Arbitrage Trade Assist. Sign up today at ArbitrageTrade.com. Arbitrage Trade is your trusted source for business, finance, and tech. I'm Smokey Bear, and I made an assistant to help you prevent wildfires. Dude, I've got this. I've been camping since I was five years old. But I am a camping influencer. You know what? I'll bet you five bucks. Assistant Smokey, what is the best way to put out a campfire? To put out a campfire, drown with water, stir, drown again. Then make sure the fire is out cold by feeling with the back of your hand. Wait, really? I'll take the five bucks. Learn more at SmokeyBear.com. Brought to you by the U.S. Forest Service, your state forester, and the Ad Council. Are you a super taster? Caroline writes, Having food preferences is perfectly natural. Everyone has favorite foods. Among the variations in how humans perceive taste, one fascinating group stands out. Super tasters. The concept first emerged from the work of Dr. Linda Bartoshuk in the 1990s, who identified that some individuals have a higher density of taste buds on their tongues, particularly the fungiform papillae, which house these taste receptors. Having more taste buds makes flavors more intense. Jenna Volpe, a registered dietitian trained in super tasting, explained, a super taster is going to experience the flavors and aromas of any given food or meal more intensely. Further research studies from the National Institutes of Health have shown that super tasters have a taste receptor gene called TASTR38. Remember that. <laughs> that allows them to taste the bitterness of a chemical called phenylthiocarbamide, or PTC, or a related substance called 6N propylthiouracil. While everyone inherits two copies of the gene, super tasters have a specific variant, making them more sensitive to the bitter compounds. How do super tasters experience food? Super tasters often exhibit distinct food preferences and aversions, but it is more than just being picky. Of the five tastes, which are sweet, salty, sour, bitter, and umami, super tasters can be sensitive to all of them to some extent, but they are especially receptive to bitter tastes. Super tasters typically think bitter foods such as kale, grapefruit, mustard, and coffee may taste overwhelmingly bitter to super tasters. The bitterness of alcohol, especially certain beers and wines that have a strong bitter profile, might also be unappealing to super tasters. Interestingly, many super tasters prefer less sugary or fatty foods. Their heightened sense of taste makes overly sweet or rich foods less palatable. In addition, the intensity of spicy flavors can be too much for super tasters, leading them to sometimes shy away from heavily spiced dishes. Research studies suggest that super tasters might have dietary patterns that could either protect against or predispose them to certain health conditions. For example, their general aversion to fatty and sugary foods could naturally protect against obesity and cardiovascular diseases. Super tasters are also less likely to smoke or drink. Alcohol and cigarettes infamously have a distinct taste and it's one that super tasters are usually repelled by. On the other hand, as Volpe noted, A super taster may be more likely to add milk and sugar to coffee, heavy dressings to salads, and cheese sausage to bitter veggies. This could be a health concern for super tasters who are prone to familial high cholesterol or metabolic syndrome. Super tasters may also inadvertently admit certain foods from their diet, such as leafy green vegetables, which could make it easier for nutritional deficiencies to pop up and create missed opportunities for the health benefits they offer. Having a wide variety of foods in your diet is essential for getting a spectrum of nutrients to support a diverse gut microbiome. How common is the super taster gene? Super tasters are more common than you might think. About one quarter of people in the U.S. have the gene that allows them to taste the extreme bitterness of PTC. Men and Caucasians are least likely to be super tasters, while women and racial minorities are more likely to have the gene. Super tasters represent a vivid example of how genetic variations can deeply influence everyday experiences like eating. This heightened sensitivity to taste isn't just a footnote in their eating habits, but a characteristic that shapes their interaction with the world of food. 
As research continues to explore the implications of being a super taster, it becomes increasingly clear that the world of taste is as complex as it is diverse, making the culinary experience a uniquely personal journey for each individual. Stop watching, start living using PIPs, our AI bot. Go to arbitragetrade.com and check out Arbitrage Trade Assist. Hi, I'm Elizabeth Rome. I've played many roles on TV and film, but today I want to speak to you as myself about a cause that's very dear to my heart. The Cancer Prevention and Treatment Fund provides free help to those who have cancer and those who wish to prevent it. They've also worked tirelessly on banning cancer-causing chemicals in our homes and neighborhoods. I want to thank them as a mom for protecting our families. Please donate today at the Cancer Prevention and Treatment Fund at StopCancerFund.com. Pips Pick of the Day. Arbitrage algorithms have detected a possible uptrend for Newberger Berman Real Estate Securities Income Fund, or NRO. They're a closed-in investment fund or investment trust company. Their objective is to seek capital appreciation and current income. The compass is over the momentum line and is curling up. The stock is nearing the trend top but may have some more left. Not too much room above, so while the possibility is there, it may fall back down as well. Set limits and stop losses. Current price is at $3.83, 52-week high of $3.86, 52-week low of $2.51. We are not financial advisors. We provide an algorithmic AI bot service called PIPS. Please do your own research. Arbitrage Trade Analytics LLC is a privately held research company. Arbitrage Trade Analytics LLC is solely responsible for the preparation and distribution of the contents of this podcast. The opinions offered in this podcast are for informational purposes only and are not intended to function as investment advice. Seek a duly licensed professional for investment advice. For more information about the informational research and services offered by Arbitrage Trade Analytics LLC, please visit arbitragetrade.com.